So in this lesson, we will going to learn how to control the LED connected to Arduino Uno using Bluetooth app, right? So you see here, I press the button and LED turns on and I press the off button and LED turns off, right? So here what we have is HC05 Bluetooth module. If you look at the front side, it will look like this. It will show you some kind of antenna here on HC05 Bluetooth module. And in the back side, when we look at that, we will see the every pin on this module Okay, look at this. Every pin on this Bluetooth module has a name. So say for example, the first pin is enable EN, second pin is VCC, then this one third one is a ground, and then the fourth one is a TXT, fourth one is, I think fifth one is RXT, and then the state, right? So this is how the, the pin label has been given on this HC05 Bluetooth module, like enable vcc ground tx rx and state so enable and state these are the two pins we are not using here when it comes to connecting uh, hc05 bluetooth module with raspberry pi and the other pins like vcc ground to power up and tx rx we will be using in order to uh, communicate this hc05 with our arduino uno okay so let's um Take this Bluetooth module and connect it to Arduino Uno. So here we have a Bluetooth module and you see on our Arduino Uno there are the pins like the first pin is the RX okay and like digital pin 0 is RX and digital pin 1 is a TX right. So if you can look at this carefully you can able to see it pin number 0 on Arduino is RX and pin number 1 on Arduino is a TX, right? So basically, to make the communication between this HC05 and Arduino Uno, we need to have a couple of uh, male to female jumper wires, right? So we can take the jumper wires and start connecting this HC05 Bluetooth module with Arduino Uno, right? So let's take uh, the first male to female jumper wires and uh, let me take the back side of the HC05 Bluetooth module and this will be say for example TX so let me plug it to TX okay and this TX on HC05 Bluetooth module will going to connect to the RX on Arduino Uno okay because it's a transceiver the TX on Bluetooth module go to RX on the um, Arduino Uno right then take another jumper wire okay male to female jumper wire and the female part of the cable we're going to connect to the rx okay and then this yellow color rx will going to connect to the tx on arduino uno right so that's how it's going to connect okay and then we will take one black color and uh, we should connect the ground on HC05 to the ground on Arduino Uno. I would rather use this one. Okay, ground pin on Arduino Uno. Okay, and then only one remains, which is the uh, VCC. So here is a VCC pin. Okay, and that will connect to. Look at this, it says like 3.626 6 volt, right? So I would going to connect to the 5 volt on Arduino Uno. Okay, and this is how we will have to connect at C05 Bluetooth module with Arduino Uno. Okay, so I don't know, it's not staying here, but I think it looks a little bit better now. And then we can check one uh, LED. The longer leg of the LED will going to connect to 13 and the shorter leg of the LED will going to connect to the ground according to the program that we have written, right? So I will check this LED and longer leg is to 13 and the shorter leg is to ground. Let me just plug in. Okay. So this is how you will going to connect HC05 Bluetooth module with Arduino Uno. 
So basically, this is a piece of code that we want to upload on Arduino Uno. What you see here is a character variable. Uh, we have to define a character variable incoming value and we make it as a zero, right, in the beginning. And then in a set of function, you see every Arduino ha program has to have a set of function. We have to say serial.begin9600 because um, we will be uh, connecting this HC05 to Arduino Uno over TX and RX pin which is a serial UART communication protocol and that's why uh, we also have to initialize this um, uh, serial UART in order to uh, receive the data coming from mobile app to Arduino Uno and that's why we say serial.begin9600 port weight and then our LED is connected to pin number 13 on Arduino Uno that's why we say pin mode 13 comma output to configure pin number 13 on Arduino as an output configure into the output mode basically then in the loop function here is a loop function okay let me make it a little bit readable here okay in the loop function here comes the logic so this is the logic this if statements basically uh, takes care what to do when you press the button right so look at this if serial dot available so when you press the button on your mobile app um, the on button which we will going to create later on uh, this uh, when we press the on button then it will send one uh, character one or maybe the number one uh, to uh, our um, HC05 Bluetooth module which is connected to Arduino so when Arduino receives one okay means basically when HC05 receives something means a serial dot available if one comes that means there is a data available if it's greater than zero that means the data is available if data is available then we want to uh, say serial dot read we read the data and store into incoming value variable right and then we want to print this incoming value variable by saying serial dot print incoming value and then just give uh, um, you know new line so um, it will just every time whenever you press the button uh, the new value 1 and 0 will come on a new line right and then we check here with the epals statement if incoming value is 1 then it will turn on the led connected to pin number 13 and then we say digital right 13 comma high so this will turn on the led so basically when we press the button on on our mobile app it will send one from the mobile app and it will turn on the led connected to arduino pin number 13 right so it will turn on so when you press the off button on the mobile app it will send a zero mobile app will send a zero uh, to the serial hc05 bluetooth module and arduino and when arduino receives uh, the value zero after pressing off button then it will turn off the LED connected to pin number 13 and that's why we say digital right 13 comma low now if you are not um, aware of this code if you have a problem then you might want to check out my serial communication with Arduino Uno tutorial and then you will be good to go with right but I believe it's not very difficult it's just like we are just uh, reading a serial data and then see if it's a 1 then turn on the LED connected to 13 if it's a 0 okay then turn off the LED connected to pin number 13 on Arduino Uno the next step is we have to go to tools make sure the board Arduino Uno is selected go to tools once again go to port and select the com port where your arduino uno is connected and then upper left corner there is upload button so we can click on this upload button and this will upload the code on our arduino uno and after uploading the code then only we have to connect hc05 so make sure this things very very important if you have connected this hc05 module with arduino uno then you will not see look at this in lower left corner done uploading you can't able to upload the code because the uploading process uh, of the code also uses tx and rx pin so first upload the code on arduino uno and then connect hc05 bluetooth module so once the code is uploaded okay done uploading now to create a mobile app using MIT App Inventor, we have to browse the web page appinventor.mit.edu. So we first have to come to this web page and then we have to click on create apps button here, upper right corner, upper left corner. 
So once we click on that, it will take us to the page where it will ask us if you have the account, then it will not ask you. It will take you straight away to MIT App Inventor just to log in normal. If you don't have account, then I would rather like to use my Google account to associate with App Inventor. So I will click on that and it will create a quick account with my password. So let me insert my password here with a Google credentials. And it's very easy to create account by the way with the app inventor and then it will take you it will ask you here it will come to the app inventor and uh, it says like nonsense say continue and then here comes the another uh, dialogue which we can say close and uh, here is how it looks like right so app inventor so if you look at the url uh, okay, it says ai2.appinventor.mit.edu. So basically, this is an app inventor 2, ai2 app inventor, right? Whatever you like to call. Now, to start creating a mobile app, we have to create a project. And you see, there is a button called Start New Project, upper left corner. And I would like to give the name to the app as a Bluetooth okay and then hit on okay so you see it creates a project with the name bluetooth it takes a couple of minutes and then it will straight away take you to uh, the project itself and you can see right now uh, look at this bluetooth project which you just have created and it will present you this kind of viv right and if you look at the uh, app inventor how it works is it basically gives you two views right if you look at upper right corner there is a designer view which we can see if i can zoom out a little bit okay just for you to see okay you see so upper left corner you see there is a designer view so if i click on block view you can see there are some widgets in the left pan so there we can select some widgets and then we can create an app so designer view and the block view okay so we have to stay at the designer view itself and i can zoom in again so we can see how it looks like basically and now we can start laying down the uh, components which we need in order to make this app work with the HC05 uh, Bluetooth module right with Arduino of course so the first component we need is um, we need a list picker so we have to uh, take um, um, a list picker element and you see here is a list picker I can select the list picker in the left pan and drag it to my uh, mobile app right so this is the mobile screen where I can drag it down now I select the list picker element and you see here is a list picker one you see it's added here in a component section list picker one um, and um, because it looks ugly right now this list picker it's uh, um, it looks the way like it's just aligned to the left I want to look a little bit better this one and you see in the left pan here uh, the width I will make it as a fill parent and say OK and it looks a little bit better now and I would like to give it a name so if you scroll down this you can see there must be uh, a text field right and here is a text field so I would like to give the name LED Bluetooth okay and uh, okay so look at this when I when I hit enter you see the name of the list picker is changed so basically this is a button a normal button which you can click and then you will see a different bluetooth client um, in a list so there we have to select hc05 because that's the bluetooth module that we want to communicate with using this uh, mobile app right that we are creating right now the second component we want is in horizontal arrangement right so if we click on layout section there is a horizontal layout look at this in a layout section so I will drag it to my mobile apps and I select it and um, then I would going to say width and say fill parent and that's that's it right so basically that's how I will going to put the horizontal arrangement and then go to user interface once again and then select the button 
in the left pan and put one button and then I will select the button and I will put another button so now we I have two buttons right but it lo looks very ugly so I select the first button here in the user interface and I will say width fill parent okay and then again just the way we did in the text section I will give the name on and you see the name of a button one is changed to on because when I want when I press the button in a mobile app it will turn on the LED connected to Arduino using HC05 Bluetooth module and let's give it a name to other uh, button button number two select the button number two and then with fill parent hit OK and then give it a name like off hit enter right so now we have the app which looks a little bit better and it has um, you know two three two buttons basically and uh, one list picker element right and the one very important thing is uh, we have to add now the Bluetooth component right so we will go to connectivity section select the connectivity in the left pan and select the Bluetooth client from the list and then drop it to your mobile app right and you see this Bluetooth client is added into the component list and you also see like Bluetooth component will be here it's so it, it's shown like Bluetooth component here right Bluetooth client one so it will be acting as a Bluetooth client now we let down the uh, user interface components now we have to write a logic um, so that uh, it will take an action that we want it to perform through the mobile app so we will click on upper right corner you see there is a block view so we click on block view and then we select the list picker and uh, there are two components we want uh, list picker one um, um, basically after picking and list picker uh, before picking right so uh, before you uh, press the button uh, list picker button um, and after you press the list picker uh, element right or component so to say so uh, when you don't connect then it just doesn't do anything just have the Bluetooth connections and when you press after picking um, okay so when you press the button then it will show you the list of Bluetooth clients so the next thing in order to make the logic work is we have to um, go to the list picker element again and then we have to select your uh, list picker one element so list picker one element that we want to put it here just place it and it will take by itself and then we have to um, use the Bluetooth client if uh, there's any so Bluetooth client could be found into the Bluetooth client section okay okay it says some kind of issue I don't know let me check my internet it's there internet is there right so click on okay it says please help us telling what you were doing this time happened okay so some issue is there but I don't mind there's rather uh, something uh, went wrong I guess uh, not sure some Bluetooth element is having issue so let me go to designer view I would rather um, uh, delete this component select the Bluetooth component and remove it okay and now I select this and I will drag the Bluetooth component once again and go to block view and now I go to Bluetooth components and now you see I have this um, a list of elements right and I would select a Bluetooth client um, address name basically and I will put it here right so that's how it works and then we have to go to list picker once again and then we have to take the selection okay element and the selection so where is it let me look in it okay so here's it, that component we are looking for and then I need to um, go to the um, Bluetooth element and then we have to select for the Bluetooth client and uh, the Bluetooth client is to connect so okay this one we want because whenever we press the 
uh, whenever we press the list speaker one that means LED Bluetooth button this button okay this button then it will um, give us the list of uh, Bluetooth connected uh, Bluetooth client which are paired with your mobile phone right uh, on which this app is running basically so the next component is a list speaker and then we have to select the list speaker one selection element list speaker one selection element So this is that one we are looking for and then we have to go to list speaker once again and we just want to throw the text right so whenever you select the HC05 Bluetooth module then the button name has to be changed from LED Bluetooth to say for example something like connected or something right so it will make a little more sense so I will take this one and put it here and then go to text and then just add a normal text so whenever you select the Bluetooth line then okay it will change the text to be connected so once you press the button in order to connect to the Bluetooth Arduino Bluetooth uh, when you press this button then it will uh, I'll give you the list you select the HC05 and then the name of this button will be changed as a connected so you then confirm that you are mobile phone uh, and the app is connected to your HC05 Bluetooth module which is connected to Arduino then go back to the block section and in a button I have to take button 1 and then we have to go to button 2 and take the button 2 right so here we have two buttons okay and then we have to write a logic where when we press the button 1 then the button one will um, send the text to Arduino over HC05 right so this will be a send text element that we want to put here and then in the text section we want to so whenever somebody press the button one then it will send one so that will turn on the LED connected to Arduino and uh, then you can copy and paste by the way so I can just duplicate the element and put it here and I would just say zero so whenever somebody press the button 2 it will send a zero right accordingly our logic is written so uh, when we uh, press on button then it will send one because that's what we wrote and when we press off button it will send zero so it will turn off the LED connected to Arduino right so on button will send one and turn on the LED when you press your button it will send zero to Arduino over Bluetooth module and it will turn off the LED that's how you create basically in mobile app using MIT app inventor now uh, to make this app work with uh, your mobile phones now once the project is ready on a screen then we have to take our phone in order to transfer the mobile app from our MIT app inventor to the mobile phone so let me take my mobile phone on okay and then I would open up this MIT AI2 companion app okay and then you see no Wi-Fi so continue without Wi-Fi that's fine and then I would go here in the build I will select the build option I hope you can see let me just turn on so here's the build option I can select provide a QR code for APK and in a moment there will be uh, an QR code will be generated if not maybe then we have to turn on the Wi-Fi but I don't think it's needed let's see what happens so we see the QR code is there so I can take my phone and connect scan QR code I can click on scan QR code and here is the QR code I can scan and I will click on Chrome here and it will start 
installing this mobile app right I hope so it will come up oh no there's no internet so I have to turn on the data network here okay and just try once again okay so scan QR code and here I scan again okay and then select the Chrome and then you see uh, oh no this what's up okay it says in the down corner do you want to download yes I want to download so let me press the download button and you see now app is installed I can say open install and it is installing right it's very easy you don't even need to create generate an APK it can transfer the APK from the app inventor straight away to your mobile phone okay app is installed and I can say here open button and here is my app I can now use this app later right so this is how the shortcut looks like for the Bluetooth app that we have created and this is MIT AI2 companion app right you need to download this first before you use it right we have to check our mobile phones okay and because we are using Bluetooth as a protocol we have to turn on the Bluetooth first on our phone once the Bluetooth turns on you see the phone will show you the Bluetooth is on right once the Bluetooth is on we go to settings on phone and then inside the Bluetooth option you will see it will list the client uh, which is available right so 9833 is one of the Bluetooth client and you see my Bluetooth module is powered up so I can able to see it so let me select and it will ask me the password for the Bluetooth and the password default password is one two three and four okay and then hit okay and now this um, HC05 comes from available devices to the paired devices so the first thing is we have to pair the HC05 this HC05 Bluetooth module with our mobile phone and then we can then go to the mobile app that we just created so Bluetooth mobile app and then you see I have LED Bluetooth the first button that I can click and it will show me the list of Bluetooth clients available so HC05 is the one that I want to connect to so I will select HC05 here and you see now the name LED connected is uh, LED Bluetooth is converted into connected and now you see when I take this phone here and when I press the on button LED turns on when I press off LED turns off right so on and off right so this is how we will going to control the LED connected to Arduino Uno using mobile app and using HC05 Bluetooth module right